Alrighty guys, we're going to watch a real video today. So I've already watched this one and you know what? I'm going to give it to you real. You actually found something. I don't 100% know if you realized what you found, but you have actually found something that I have not seen anyone else talk about. And I'm going to show you what you found. All right, let, let's get into this video. Skadoosh with the jizz in your face. All right, let's fucking get high for this one because this one's great. Here is an image of the camera on the plane's tail wing. Yeah, yeah, it is. This one's great. I love you, dude. You're awesome. Th this, this is good. All right. <laughs> I don't realize if you actually realize what you found, but you did find something. <laughs> Even a broken clock is right at least twice a day. All right. <laughs> all right. Oh, it didn't start playing. Okay, let's start playing. Boom. There's something there. Clear as day. There is something here. You can tell. This is something down here yeah yeah there there's something there good job you you found something that no one else that i've known that i've seen is talking about this is new this is real okay good but i'm not sure if you realize what that is some of your other stuff goes off in the weeds even when the show tail ah, dyslexia even when the tail wing shakes violently the footage remains shake free. Yeah, it's called image stabilization. GoPros have gyros in them and they take a bigger image than what they're what they need. Like if you're recording in 1080p, it'll record in I think uh what is it? Uh 2K basically, uh 1440. But anyway, so it'll actually record more than what it needs and then based on the gyro it will alter that image and rotate it around and all of that to try to keep it as stable as possible. Otherwise, these cameras would be shaking around and you'd barely be able to see anything. If you actually look at some of the older GoPros without the image stabilization, that's pretty much what it looks like. So no, this is a newer GoPro with image stabilization. So yeah, that's why it's shake free. There's nothing to see there. That's, that's a nothing burger. Now, now, let, let's see here. Scroll back here just a little bit. What is this? If we're looking at where the shadows are coming from, this can't be the shadow of the camera we're looking through, can it? Because the shadow would be behind it. So this has to be something in front of what? What's this? Did you even notice the shadow down here real? No, you didn't, did you? Otherwise you would have pointed to it, point to the shadow. There, there's something real here. There is a physical object there, dude. You are right, There, there is something there. All right, you can clearly see that is the shadow of it. You can see the shadow, watch, when we scroll, you can see the shadow rotate and move with the direction of the sun. That is a real object. That is really there. There's something there. What is that? What is that? Okay, let's continue on. Once again, here's the shadow. We see the shadow of the tail and stuff like that. Yeah, there's the separation for the rear flappy thing on the tail. So yeah, here's the tail shadow. But what's this shadow? What's this shadow? Why is that shadow there? There's something there. There's an object there that's creating that shadow. You're right, there is something there. I 100% wholeheartedly agree with you. There is something there. What is that? Now, uh, and why does it appear that the camera is no longer on the wing? It, it is, it's just image stabilized. It's on the wing, guaranteed. Just before the plane impacts, Do, 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 do. Okay, just before the plane impacts. Mm 
Okay. I don't know what we're supposed to be seeing here. I don't understand this one. Are we supposed to believe that that short amount of masking, masking tape? No, 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 no. Duct tape. It's not masking tape. Masking tape is either going to be blue or it's going to be a manila color. It's not going to be gray. Is all the macking tape Trevor used to tape the camera holder to the wing? I think you wanted to spell masking tape there again, but eh, typos happen. I'm just lexic, so I eh, whatever. It's not like I should really be making fun of you for typos, but typos happen. But yeah, you got a typo there. Now, quick question. You showed us it from the wing view, and now you're showing it from this view. Now, also, you actually went through or well, okay, you you okay, I can see up here you got this image from another person. But but it's interesting. For someone who supposedly thinks this airplane flipped and has actually used this image as proof that it flipped, it's funny that you used the properly corrected view of it now where it's right side up instead of the one where we actually get in the video where the camera's upside down. But anyway, skipping all that, you know, the plane never flipped. That This is pretty much proof of what angle the airplane crashed into the mountain. It didn't have enough force to flip. It crashed in this direction, which then bent the tail section down and slammed it. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> now, here we got to ask. Okay, you, you first used a side view, and then you got this image. This image is not from that side view. This image is actually from a tail camera. All right, and, but we can see that a camera is flying off the tail. I mean, this is clearly flying off the tail, but this is an image from the tail camera. All right, and we got this bit of duct tape right here, right? And you're trying to say, oh, that little bit of duct tape's what held it? Yeah, it kind of did. And then what's this? What's this up here? That's actually more duct tape. But wait, why is there duct tape here? Oh, because that's the duct tape used to hold this camera on. Okay, let's go to Trevor Jacobs. I crashed my plane. You actually found something here. Okay, so this is where that still image came from, was from this camera view right here. Now, as we go in, we can see that this camera starts to tumble. It's flipped upside down now. Now, here's where that one still image is that you have right here that's been corrected for, you know, what position it is. So these are the same images, right? And we got this camera right here. And then we got this chunk of tape right here. But remember, the view we're getting came off the tail, right? Because this one is a, don't go back, back. This one is a tail camera because we're clearly on the tail right here, right? We're on the tail, we're on the tail, we're on the tail. And then boof, we're flipping off the tail and this catches an image of a tail camera. <gasps> There's two tail cameras, dude. You found a second tail camera that no one else has seen. It, there's shadows of it. There's the image of it. We can see a clear image of it here as it's flying off the tail. There are two tail cameras and we get images from two different views. We actually get two different views. And that's how come in one of the views you don't see the shadows and one of the views you do see the shadows. There is two tail cameras. This is, I have not seen anyone else talk about a secondary tail camera. We've all talked about five cameras. There's the two on the wing, the two in the cockpit, which one Trevor took with him, which is the one he skydived with. And then we were always saying there was one on the tail. There's a second one on the tail. You found a second camera on the tail. Clear as day. I don't know if you realize you actually found a second camera on the tail, but you making me go through this one, uh, that's beyond shadow of a doubt, a second camera on the tail. There is something real here. You have something real. 
This is the kind of investigative sh shit we need. This is what you need to be doing is actually going through and finding the real stuff. Don't add stuff that isn't there. Find the real stuff. Do what's in your name. Real justice. Look at the real. Look at the video. You know, real, like a camera reel. I get it. I, I get your pun. Look at the real and then find what you need to find so that we can get the justice we need. This is real. This is the stuff you need to be looking for. You found it. I give you 100% credit for finding the second camera on the tail. There is, beyond a shadow of a doubt, 100% a second camera on the tail. I give you this one. This one is yours. 100% credit goes to you. Bam. You have something real here. You were wrong at almost everything else in this video. But your first little point of what is that? That's real. Uh, the length of masking tape, no, duct tape, um, is not even long enough to go around the horizontal stabilizer even once. Well, you wouldn't want to go around the horizontal stabilizer, I mean, because of the flap. Yeah, no, you, you would just tape it to it. And the duct tape would hold it until the impact and they would rip it all off. Yeah, so that's, that's nothing out of the ordinary. And the shake of the camera, oh, that, that's image stabilization, so. So maybe the tape broke. No, it came off with it. We can see clear as day the tape came with it. And some of the tape is still on the tail wing. No, because we never see tape on the tail wing. I mean, right? We never see tape on the tail wing. So that a little bit of duct tape held them on there. Yeah, and the duct tape went with. Yeah, there's no tape on the tail wing, dude. You're right. Yeah, no no tape on the tail wing. Good. Hey, real. You want to see something else that's interesting? Someone else kind of pointed this one out to me, but they looked at it a little bit different. And so... Let's get to where he's jumping out of his airplane. And right here, I believe. Let's go back. Back, 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 back. Yeah, right here. Okay. Watch this one. This one's cool. All right. Wait. Do we see this down here? See, here's my mouse right here. This thing right here, this, this weird bar sticking out here. What is that? What that is, is it's actually the control arm for what's supposed to be as a little flap thing back there that controls your pitch. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, um, shit. Mm. Oh, crap. I lost the word for it. Trim. That's it. That's it. It's your pitch trim. And that's your pitch trim control. And there's supposed to be a flap on that. And it's missing. Yeah. He's missing his pitch trim control. That's actually kind of funny. He either A, took it off, or B, never put it back on after the previous owner took it off or something. I don't know. But it's clearly missing its pitch trim control. That's an interesting one to look at. And also, we can clearly see that there's no longer the GoPro in here. And these wires, what other people were wondering what they were or what this round thing was, they another person, another YouTuber kept calling it a pedestal. But that's actually a pulley, and that's for uh, your foot pedals to control your rear rudder. Yeah, those go down and, yeah, connect to the foot control. It's actually really interesting because there's another pulley here. And, yeah, actually, it's right about there, I do believe. Yeah, anyways. Interesting factoids that aren't really needed, but yeah. But you did find a second camera on the tail. It sucks that we don't get any images of the tail cameras because his arm's right here. And like everything in the video seems to just do everything to not show the fact that there's two tail cameras, which is why everyone only believed that there was one. But you've actually found a couple images where you clearly see the other camera 
and you can clearly see its shadow. And then in where it's coming off, this one, oh, I guess. It'll be easy, it's just to find yours because you had the still image of it. This one. Yeah, this is clearly a second tail camera. Clear as day. Yep. You found it. So good job. This is what we need. We don't need to muddy the waters with RC airplanes or flipping or um, insurance fraud. Yeah, no, definitely wasn't insurance fraud. This was an unairware unairworthy airplane and therefore it was uninsurable so we had to be self-insured or fly without insurance i mean this could be a simple case if he flew it without insurance at all if he's not self-insured somehow um and then he took off from uh lompoc lompoc however they want to pronounce it um and i do believe that was one of um oh, I had I was looking into that one and uh, I do believe it is a towerless airport because if we go to um, Lompoc Airport and we click on here and we scroll through I don't see any information about a tower so he would have been free to just take off by just clearing himself and at a airport like this most people ain't gonna mess with you it's yeah so he, he probably flew it illegally gar um, not probably he flew this airplane illegally it was not airworthy it should have not been in the air he flew it illegally plain and simple but it wasn't an insurance fraud scam it wasn't remote controlled it didn't flip um, the, it didn't just turn 180. It was originally, uh, you like to say that it was flying north and, or, uh, flying south and then, anyways, you want to say it did a 180. It did more than a 180. It spiraled anyways. But yeah, so this is actually something good you found. We found a, well, you found a secondary camera. I will give you the credit that for that. Real found a secondary camera that... A, I guess a sixth camera no one knew about. So now we know that there are six cameras. Two on the wings, two from the cockpit, one that he took with, and two on the tail. Alrighty then. Good one. I'm going to end the video here.